Tonight on Noir. Losort and I dream up a zombie game and things get out of hand real fast. I review the FN 5-7 and our zombie apocalypse survival instincts carry over in stage five. All right. Greatest zombie movie of all time, starting with me, 28 days later. You go, and then after that, come back to me because he is a zombie. Zombieland. <laughs> Zombieland was okay. It was no, fun. You asked my opinion. Yeah, it can't be incorrect, right? <laughs> right. Um, I guess World War Z, because the zombies were really fast and aggressive. That's I'll give the only you that. Reason. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Well, everyone knows that anytime you get a group of people who are into guns and firearms, the obligatory zombie conversation comes up. Of course. Always. Naturally. Yep. Has to. And even though when we had ours, we didn't necessarily talk about our favorite movie, but we did talk about something that I think was pretty interesting. A certain dream scenario, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Let's take a look. So I remember one time I posed this question to you about this zombie apocalypse scenario that I imagine, right? Yep. Where you have, like, for maybe two to five minutes, it's an all-out zombie apocalypse. And in that two to five minutes, you can bring whatever gun you wanted, and you could actually die, though. Right. Would you actually do it? Yes. It's as close to game time as I'm gonna get, man. You know I have c quite a bit of ammo, quite a few guns. It's just not. I need to be able to use those in like a real scenario or as real as it's gonna get. These are, I, okay, it's not real. I understand it's not real. But as close to real as I'm ever gonna get, it's like a high stakes video game. If you have a two to five minute scenario, you know to a certain extent that you don't have those same constant stresses. Like it's not long term. You don't have to worry about where you're getting your next meal or any of that stuff. So I'm all about this, like short-term zombie fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you are dancing now that we're finally in your wet dream, the zombie apocalypse. We've got live zombies on the ground, brother. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Here's what I'm thinking, all right? You start in those tree lines over there. Yeah. You got one zombie chasing you. Right. He's a slower zombie. Yeah. He's like a... Walking Dead zombie. Yeah. And we got four of the zombies over there. They're like 28 weeks later zombies. Right. The ones that run. Yeah. You have to take out those four zombies before we can take out the slower moving zombie. Okay. And we have to all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. All the way up. So one shot on each target from the first two cones. Got it. Two shots on each target from the second two cones. Before you can advance to the next stage. Before you can advance to the okay. next stage. And then the next set of cones after that are three shots. Three shots. And then four shots on the last on the set line. of cones. And then if you make those four shots on each of the four targets at that point, you survive the, the zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. And so the guns, all handguns, empty chambers, magazines loaded. We have to dig them out of our bag yep. um, before we start shooting. And you know, some of us come prepared when it comes to zombie apocalypse situations. Really? So yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're more zombies. Jerry, serve me well, buddy. Give me some. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't forget my guns. Happy, you're gonna die. Who's talking about a revolver? Oh! Yeah, you see? Six shots in a revolver. This is. Why this did is, Jerry this, tell me that revolvers were cool? That's just not smart, Darren. Uh, Using a revolver a during the zombie apocalypse is just uh, not smart. It only works in the movies. Dude, go to a different gun. This is freaking me. No, I got to do it for Jay. Oh, I, did, I already got those ones. <laughs> OK. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you're not, ah. not going to make it. I got a new gun. Just call it quits, Dad. OK. Ah. <laughs> Safety gun, ah. you bastard. You're going to die. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Not much of a fantasy now, is it? Oh, okay, now he's just cheating.
A zombie apocalypse has the desirability of another assault weapons ban. But if I was forced to pick my ideal zombie apocalypse handgun, without a doubt it would have to be the FN57. In normal life, the FN seems like nothing more than a novelty item. But during a zombie apocalypse, it's a game changer. The cheese grater like grips on this gun makes a gripping powerhouse. No matter what creepy zombie body fluid you have on your hands, this gun is going nowhere. Due to its polymer frame, the gun is light and maneuverable. Transitioning from target to target becomes effortless. Because the FN shoots what essentially is a 22 on steroids and PCP, the recoil is irrelevant. The gun shoots flat and the round moves fast as hell and penetrates like a beast. During a zombie apocalypse, overpenetration is your friend. If you can take out two zombies with one bullet, why not? And speaking of bullets, the FN57 has a 20 round magazine capacity. Those are 15 numbers. So there's no having to do multiple magazine changes right as a zombie decides to make a meal out of your left leg. The most important thing about the FN that makes it ideal in a zombie apocalypse is its accuracy. My goodness, this gun is accurate. And you're gonna need that accuracy because the jackass who invented the concept of zombies thought it would be a good idea to require headshots in order for zombies to die. So you essentially have to be a sniper with a handgun to get your hits. Unless you're dealing with the 28 weeks later zombies, you know, the zombies that run, then you're just screwed. All in all, the FN57 does everything I need it to do, but it isn't without fault, because where the hell am I gonna find 5.7 ammo during a zombie apocalypse? Almost the same concept, except we're teamwork now. Yep. You start here at the 50 yard line. You get two shots on target. Right. I have to get two shots on target right. before we can then advance. I shoot the ones on the right, you shoot, shoot the, the ones, ones on the left. left. When I say move and you say move, we can advance to the next station. Ready? Let's do it! Let's oh. All right. You take your two, I take mine. Boom! Go! He's on us! Take your two, you can shoot at the same time. Boom! Get it! Boom! You good? I got it. 
Adventure breeds character, and the path should be less traveled. Independence breeds survival, and you must depend on who you know you are. Your inspiration drives you to never waste a moment. As a pioneer, an advocate, a gun owner. It's time to celebrate your lifestyle every single day. So you just watched us play this little zombie apocalypse challenge and for all intents and purposes, it was tongue in cheek, you know, <laughs> kind of fun. I mean, but, but we, it can happen, the zombie apocalypse, that's obvious. Yeah, we all know that, Darren. <laughs> Captain that's Obvious. That's why we're prepping. Um, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's still a bigger picture to be had from what you just watched because what you really did see was a competition. Mm -hmm. A competition based around the idea and the concept of having fun and then self-improvement in the same breath. Mm -hmm. um, the same way that me and Darren are kind of going at each other in this competition that we're having now, we're, we're bettering ourselves at the same time having a blast doing it. People asking, well, what's the purpose behind freestyle field and your, what, the form of athletic shooting that you're doing? Does there have to be a purpose? Is there a purpose behind golf and tennis and basketball and baseball? None of those things are gonna save your life, but they are fun, they keep you young and just vibrant in mm -hmm. general. I just go back to thinking, okay, you say this is such a great entry point, and you're right, we've experienced that firsthand with several people that we've mm -hmm. had on the show, um, you know, that might not have ever otherwise gotten into shooting it, but they are into the competition. And this is pickup shooting, so yeah. anybody who wants to experience this, hopefully the people who are watching Noir, they can get their own field and create their own basic rules, have their own basic guns, equipment, Right. a timer maybe, yep. or they can do it with an iPhone, whatever. Okay. That's what this is about, is keeping it simple so everybody can engage. Yeah, yep. and the overarching view that I want everyone to have about this and what we're doing is the idea that this is about being resourceful. You know, the whole idea is, is, to, is to be able to have the creativity to kind of put together your own your own freestyle shoot. Yep. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And then that's different yeah. than being at a at a fixed range where you're in one bay and you have a paper target to shoot. You are pretty much really limited to what you can do yeah, there. You are. Not on the freestyle field. Yeah. And anybody can have their own freestyle field. There could be a thousand different looks. And you really are, as you say, only limited by your creativity. Mm -hmm. It's that's really it. clear. I mean, all four of us are completely different. Obviously, we all have different shooting experience and we all love this type of shooting. We're all addicted, yeah. and I think that's the cool thing. We're all different right. and, and, I've been and we shooting all love for it. So long and the yeah. fact that I'm still so pumped every time we go out yeah. and compete and we shoot we have yep. an absolute blast and when I'm talking to my friends about this I'm like wow how can it be possible that I've been shooting for 35 years doing everything and I'm so motivated by what we're doing here it's yeah. a really cool thing it gives me chills when I think about it well speaking of the competition where are we in the stage okay so last round we did have a lead change Coleon is officially ahead by one second Coleon you're at 259.27 and Lasor, you're right behind at 259.31 so headed headed to stage four now We might as well call this week's challenge the zombie stage because no firearm combo says desperate primal quest for survival like a close range pistol followed up by a mad dash to a slugged up shotgun. Shooters begin with 10 hits at 10 yards before running 40 yards backwards for two slug hits from the 50.
All right, Lasort, now he's got a second up on him. He's back in the lead. He's got his hand. He's all over it on the handguns. Of course he's all over it on the handguns. Yes. This is going to be a short and sweet stage. It's 10 hits and is the two bully, I believe, right, with the with the shotgun? Um, It is. It is. And, yes. oh, good. Lower. Lower. One. Coleone right there just decided to He's, get a little too quick for his own good. Know. Once Man, he took some time, he actually hit it. Yes, but he, he did. And this is where, though, you can tell your difference in the tactical training because you're so much quicker at the loading. The I, I try to be. I like that you right. notice that because I take pride in that yes. because I have done all that tactical stuff. Basically, lots of empty gun drills, having to reload in a hurry because, you know, from a self-defense standpoint, you Always are obviously in danger. That's why right. you need to reload. All right, Coleon, I got you at uh, 5501. 5501, what happened? I jinxed myself. All right, let's start where we set the course. Get hey, ready. Oh, man. what happened is your trigger finger on your handgun is so damn fast that you couldn't slow it down to make the shotgun work. I jinxed uh, myself. Dude. I said right before we started, I was like, Come on. Dude, were you shooting full <laughs> auto on that HK? Man. Is that the MV7? Is that the MV7 you were shooting? The sad thing is, I was like, Little voice in my head was like, Hans has 10 shots. I was like, I don't care. I'm running the magazine dry. <laughs> what I love is that you're in a good mood after the shotgun. What was funny is you were hitting in exactly the same spot. Your shooting was great, mm -hmm. but you were hitting in exactly the same spot because you were not down on that stock. It's yeah. kind of hard yeah. on, on the lights. Under the lights, but, but anyway, no, it, I, I jinxed myself. I was like, I was like, man, I'm not that. This, this pump shotgun bothers me, and I just uh, remember there's this, that love hate relationship. Although you remember, love right? the shotgun, you you started I, I loving like the it. shotgun, man. But that pump, man, that, that thing shows me no love. <laughs> All right, let's sort. We'll All right. see what you got. I'm gonna on go this tear stage. it up. I know Good I can luck. shoot that shotgun better. All right, Coleon. So as of now, you're still in the lead. Wait for the beat. He's about right. to take this stage on. Um, we'll see what he can do with it. How do you think he's gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> well, well I'd say answer. so far. Well, he's as long as he, if he doesn't flub this shotgun portion, right, then we might have something. Otherwise, I kind of like it though. I like that y'all are neck and neck, kind of taking the lead back and forth. I missed. That's so good. One, two, clear. Dang. Clear, clear, clear. Okay, he is. He's impressive on the shotgun. I don't know. You may want to close your ears. I don't know if you're going to want to hear this time. <laughs> Colleon's asking for four more pairs of headphones right now because he does not want to hear. So he gonna... does not want to hear what's going on. I'm just going to go ahead and put mine now. on now. <laughs> I got you what's at time? Uh, time is 1931. 1931. Nice. Thanks, buddy. All right. Uh oh. Got some ground to make up, brother. Sorry about that. I don't even know what to say after that. I got the handicap not... going again. Well, we have had a heartbreaking turn of events. <laughs> For Clown. whom? Oh, Clown. Yeah. Heartbreaking, that was celebrating. Oh man, what happened out there? <laughs> I learned that you can miss with a shotgun. <laughs> I don't understand, like I, I love that pump. Yeah. yeah. It's I don't love pumps. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense. It does it's make just, perfect sense. We always talk about the love-hate relationship yeah, that he has, the love right? Hate. Oh, I think lead, it's a hate-hate hate relationship it's that, now. After that one. It's that sight. The, the, the fact that there's only one front sight, no back sight, so there's yeah. no reference point for me. And I, I move so quickly. When you have a rear yep. sight, you have something communicated against, and you know, oh, I'm not on it, I'm not on it. And it's the same for everybody. So if you have rifle sights, you know, you have the rear notch, you have right. a front post, it's even across the top, equal light on both sides of the front sight. On a shotgun where you just have a front bead and a little pedestal, you have to know exactly what that needs to look like on right. your target in order to make your hits. Yeah. So just the slightest little variation. Now you were not shooting badly in that your trigger control was good. You were shooting just over the left shoulder of the target. And I could see it back from where I was. That dirt was getting kicked up in the exact same spot. Now once you I couldn't time, could you because, see it because though? no, because okay. physically, yes, I could see it. Yeah. Mentally, no. Because I was so getting wrapped up mentally, I was killing myself mentally about missing. I had a perfect reference point, which you rarely get when you shoot steel. Right. But I could have made the adjustment if I would have just calmed down, yep. stayed focused, 
and focus on what I needed to do I need to and change make the adjustments. Yeah. You, had to, you had to change your target picture, your sight picture on the target. Now, your machine gun, sh handgun shooting, pretty awesome. I mean, that was full auto. For all intents and purposes, if they <laughs> made a full auto HK like they make a Glock 18, I don't think that would have looked at like any faster <laughs> shooting because you are so quick on the trigger. Did you unload the entire magazine? I was trying to. He can't. Yeah. He can't. <laughs> I, no, I really was trying to. Is there Definitely. a rehab for that? We have there to needs to be a Colio Noir rehab class. But you know, you did so much right there. It was frustrating to see you lose that much time, but it really goes to show on the freestyle field, just a little bit of a mental lapse uh -huh. of some sort can really cause problems. Sure. So Katie, where were we with the time? Okay, so the new times, Koyan, you're at three minutes and 54 seconds, and Lasor, you're at three minutes and 18 seconds. Music to my ears. I know you're happy about it. Well, we can't wait for you guys to see what happens next week on Noir. Next week on Noir. I think that's how to do it. I mean, that looks like one shot on a newly painted piece of steel. Um, that's how a Green Beret sniper uh, runs a gun. He's gonna, he's gonna end up going empty before. Yep, right there. Right. <laughs>